All right, fellas. Um, I, I know I harp on sort of about the same things quite often here, but ball security just just has to be better for us in these coming games. Because we're such a dangerous team, we're so good individually, obviously, you know, we're scoring tries early, but against these better teams and when it comes down to like everyone giving that extra 10%, it just won't happen as much. So in this game, passes 58, which 47 were completed, so 11 went astray, compared to 140 against St. Albert. So no, we lost against St. Albert, but we're going to have to start moving teams around a little bit more. 58 passes isn't enough. We only had 34 rucks. Compared to our usually 80 to 100, you know, you're looking at 120 to 140 in, in top level games. So 34 is just not enough. I feel we got a big, strong pack. So let, let's start fucking carrying and let, let's start using those instead of pushing these passes all the time. We, we only got up to four plus phases three times in the game. So we're either scoring tries or more likely we're losing it. The error count was much better with 16 errors. And I think there was only six penalties conceded, which I was pretty happy about. Uh, and tackle count was about 78%. Not sure if I sent out the extended stats on lineouts and stuff like that. But so I'm just going to show a few clips, I think, of, um, of where we went wrong. I fear with a few things that we can also work on. Obviously, some really good highlights of this game because we did fight back from being down and chatting to players. You always thought you had the belief. But first half strategy was kind of to get rid of the ball and play down there and see how we get on. So this is the second ruck. I would like to see someone taking control and you know maybe kicking deep and getting that chase on. But okay, we play with it. Caught behind the gain line for a negative carry. Pretty lucky the ball pops out. Okay, so we've 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 got some distance there. We haven't got anywhere. I'd be looking for a clearance kick here. But we decide to carry. Okay, fine. It's a decent tug in there. And probably if Gade carries to the line and tips here to Josh, you know, Josh might be through it. And we've got some good gap, but the mistake's made. Okay, we get caught way behind the advantage line, way behind the gain line, and the end dragon clears. Okay, this one, Josh, you just got I caught you a couple of times. I feel you committed to the tackle too early here. I can see here when his hips are turned, the ball's going to go. And there's an overlap outside. You see, you whack the guy. Well done, you know. Everyone likes to put a big hit in. But there's a player outside that, you know, you probably would have been better off drifting out and trying to shut down earlier. So let's just look to stay a bit more square and push off. I know I, I talked to you after the game, Josh, so you often catch a bit of a slating in these analysis. And I'm sorry, but that's because I feel, um, I feel you'll learn quite well, buddy. Unfortunately, this is the narrow view, but this is just around us too easy. So Rich is definitely going to work on our spacing and and uh, and things like that, and our drift. But we, we just got to um, possibly work on our spacing and, and, and communication about where the ball's going. Okay, uh, decent cut back in here from Sammy. Matt, I feel, and anyone else in this situation, I feel once we've moved this ball, we've got a little half break. We need to move this two passes. Now, unfortunately, we haven't got the width here, uh, the wide view, but we've created some really good width here. And two passes, we could be getting into their fat props out in the midfield and creating overlaps, but instead, we pick and carry. Okay, decent offload there. We've got the chance to make a you know half break again and go through. We throw this offload and it's a turnover. So we've turned some decent go forward ball into really poor ball. Oh, turnover ball. Um, okay, Sam, you've been caught way too much in the Alberts game. Too flat with the ball over the top of your head. Our defensive structure has got to go back to having one player between the 15 and the 10 on this side, one player between the 15 and the 10 on this side, and Chad's filling the plug hole for a... For a um, chip if any wingers or fullback don't understand that you need to come and talk to myself and rich because at the moment we're doing it very very poorly when teams kick to us okay just a decent clear okay if this is our brexit that's fine i like brexit but the blindside winger you need to be fucking in here doing some work and rucking out especially when dragon's going to carry on the out here okay jake Maybe start a little bit wider because Dragon has drawn in him and, and come back towards Dragon. And then the winger needs to be here and even possibly the fullback because we, we ain't trying to go wide again. We're just trying to win this ruck. And here, the winger's nowhere to be found. Dragon's gone quite wide, so the seven hasn't been able to get there. Or I don't know why the seven, like Matt's managed to get there. I'm not sure where our seven is here. Okay, and they've turned it over. 
you know, probably back row, you need to work harder. If the eight's getting there and I can see I can see Wade the lock. So the rest of our back row need to be there a bit sooner. Turned over. Okay. Again, Josh, I feel I don't know. You you could have been screaming here for ball, but I feel a so, uh, for, for help, but I feel a soft jockey here would have been better. Okay, you put that shot in, but there's no one outside you. So I just feel that maybe if you had been jockeying across a little bit instead of worrying about that hit, it might have been better. This scenario, you can't quite see where we are here, but we've got a free kick. We've got a dominant scrum. Instead, Corey, I think it's the wrong option for Corey to tap and run. Small guy in the park. You know, maybe the decision wasn't being made, but he carries here. We haven't really got anything on. We could have gone back blind here. Okay, we could have set to have a pod going this way, come back blind, and then use our backs. Instead, like we haven't really got a plan. We've just tapped. It's not a quick tap because they're back ten, and it's just a, it's just a poor decision. No one's really helped Dragon by hitting a line for him or, or coming back on a cut, but that's it. Just again, guys, the offload here. It's just it's just it's definitely not on. There's there's no way we're going to win that one. Okay, poor alignment. Poor defensive restructuring. We've got two props and and two locks, and that's all the players out here. Okay, and while it's not a great kick, they score because our defensive spacing alignment just hasn't gone well. Rich, maybe just move this one a little bit quicker. If I played it all the way from back, there was a little bit more space, okay? You know, not an accurate pass, and Sammy ends up in a little bit of trouble here. Where we could have had Jake on the outside and a bit of space. Sam does well, fights forward, we win the ruck. But I think just get those two passes in a little bit earlier. Phrase, un unfamiliar position for you at flanker. But you've got to have your head up a little bit more here, buddy. Because the scrums even span your way, so you're up. You've got to be off here and making that tackle instead. You know, possibly something you don't know. Okay, then just the alignment I want to discuss. All our forwards have ran back here. Prop, hooker, second row, second row, back row, back row, back row. Every single forward has come back into this space. Like, what do you, we, we don't, you, you're not needed there. That's not where the trouble's going to be. You've got to realize from this scrum where the problems are going to be and work out into the midfield. So this is something that I'm going to have to touch on next week with us. But we're just way too narrow, and look what we create. We're lucky they didn't pass here because they had huge numbers on the outside. We scramble over right, but we're very poor at getting around the corner. Josh, again, just one for you, mate. Got to have a head up. You can't leave our uh, you can't leave our ten to be run at by by a big player. You've got to have heads up. We've got to make uh make make that help that out. Decent carry here from Trey, guys. He goes forward. Okay, like we we need to be. He's going forward. We need to win this ruck. You need to fucking double clear that get eye. You need to hit him. We we can't be like he's you can't be leaving him isolated when it's a forward carry. Okay. I think we need to be flat up. Remember that five meters back here, guys. So Jake, you need to be up here, and this needs to be a flat pass, and Dragon needs to be in here. I know it's a loop, you know, whether it's supposed to be a loop move or, or I'm not sure. I and mean, it's a poor pass, but everyone just needs to be flatter. Again, it's the same as what we talked about with the line out last week. So it's something I think we can work on, Rich Butlin, for the, for the next couple of weeks. So guys, it's pretty familiar stuff here. Defensive spacing on alignment, on defense. Uh, playing a bit flatter from first phase on attack and not pushing passes and knowing when to push passes. Um, I know this analysis can sometimes be a, be a little bit about things we need to work on rather than things we're doing well, but... But that's the point, I guess, isn't it? You know, let's work about things we can, we can get better at. Any questions, please don't hesitate to hit me up, guys, and please give this a watch. Thanks.